the fear that's running through my blood right now, it, I, I can't even explain. Should we drop the beat? I mean... Alan, drop the beat. Tracy DeMarco. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dimly Wit. Jess Hottie. Bad examples. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Tracy. Get into it, bitch. <laughs> It's the birthday show, it's the birthday show. Another year wiser, another year fatter. Older than a dinosaur, it doesn't matter. Who we gonna hear from, we don't know. It could be a friend or someone we've blown. It's the birthday show, it's the birthday show. (laughs) (laughs) The birthday show, the birthday show. Did you love it? Okay, now you get the second verse, Trey. Uh, fuck, fuck, I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He is there for us. Now he's there for you. Gay best friend. He'll know what to do. Oh my god. Of, All co- right. of course you I would know what a dongle just is. just was informed you have like this incredible fuckboy story. Yeah. And I need to know it. You, yeah. I do. Okay. I have two. I have two fuckboy stories. I need stories, the tea. But... I hope it's piping hot. <laughs> the tea is very hot. I used to, um, like, off and on for like seven years, seven would years. see this uh, this guy who he was my barista at Starbucks. That's how we met. <laughs> um, Stop it. Classic. And so over the course of seven years, I would say like. He would fuck up, and then I would fuck up, and then there would be time in between. So then fast forward a few years into this seven-year saga, and I'm sitting at home minding my own business watching Saturday Night Live. Excellent. And there's a very famous artist doing a performance of their song with a mime doing sign language. And I was like, oh, my God, I blew that mime. <laughs> to say i blew that wait mime. are you telling yeah. are you telling me right now the barista was the mime he well so he, so he made was starbucks really coffee good at and did talk this is fucking brilliant i want to date a barista who doesn't wait, what? it's amazing all right sorry keep going keep going so he was really good at sign language which is how this artist found him and then made him like dress up like a mime and do this sign language amazing so he does this <laughs> wait are you gonna tell us we- what who is the artist i need to know like was it 50 cent like Busta it was Rhymes. Sia. It was Sia. Sia. Wow. Of course, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> so, Bert, by the so, way, uh, everyone is about to Google that performance know. to know who the fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so a few, a few weeks later, I see him at Starbucks, and we start having this great conversation. And like he was doing the stuff with Sia, and I was doing the film with the girls from Orange is the New Black. So I was like, oh, we're in such great places in our lives. Yeah. Like, and we have this amazing conversation, and we're texting, and it's wonderful. And then so I text him the next day, no answer. I text him the day after that, no answer. What the fuck? Two weeks later, I see that he fucking moved to Texas and didn't tell me. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, okay. Your barista slash yeah. acting mime, over seven <laughs> years you guys have been talking, and he moves to Texas. And doesn't tell you because you didn't sign it to him? <laughs> like, why didn't he tell no. you? He just bounced this on you. This is so fucked up. I mean, we weren't, like, it's not like we were in a seven-year relationship. There but, were just, like, but you had a relationship. periods of time fuck over the course of seven fuck years boy. that fuck we boy. would. That's what fuck boys do. Wait, B, I have a, be... <laughs> how did you find out he moved to Texas? On Instagram. Oh, oh did he so, start? Like, did he start adding his location? <laughs> no, I just see like, oh, moved into my apartment in Texas, and like, this is. I had no idea when we reconnected and we had like this amazing conversation and we're like texting and sexting, and then like radio silence after that, what and the then I see that he moved to Texas. Did you send nudes? Yeah, of course. Oh my god, <laughs> he took your nudes to Texas. Oh my god, I don't want to know earmuffs. <laughs> Jess is such a saint. I can't. Wait, Brandon. Yeah. Did you ever confront him? N- no, not really. It I wasn't worth anymore. it. He's a fuckboy. And you haven't talked to him yeah, since. Yeah, I mean, because this is like the thing is that 
over this course of seven years, like I said, it was very spread out, mm-hmm. but, um, and we were never in a relationship, but things would either be See, really this good. This is the difference and then... between men and women, I'm going to have to say, because <laughs> if one of your friends was on and off with a guy for seven years, they take like a girls, we take like, we claim steak, like. You know that is our property. It's been seven motherfucking years. No, the you were just so wait. Good you were just about, talking about like, this to me cool. the other day. Like yeah. one of your friends. Yeah. Like that's that's theirs now. It's over X amount of time. Like a girl would flip out, and if if the guy moved to fucking Texas, the girl would lose the her. The girl mind. would maybe fly to Texas. Yes, like yes, she may yes. like delta the shit out of this yes. and fly there. She may purchase an airline just so yeah, she could just see, so she could go there him and on the bitch him. Yeah, yeah, like that's what girls do. That's why the gays are so much better off. Like girls are fucking crazy. Fuck boys. Yes. Fuck up our brains and like manipulate us. I feel like it's men because it's men dating men, and men are just like men okay. are just whatever. It's like, girls are the men. problem. Like girls are literally the reason because gay relationships don't have that many problems. I mean, Brandon, I respect the like, you know, whatever. Fuck him. Like, you know, moving I on. love that you fucked a fuck boy mime. That's like so a, a, a sign language, an ASL fuck boy mime. Brandon, put that in your Instagram Hashtag profile fuck right boy now. Mime. It should say nothing else. It should say Brandon <laughs> fucked fuck, a mime. Fucked a mime. <laughs> Period. Love drunk Period. life. <laughs> love drunk life. Fucked a mime. Hashtag. <laughs> Lada. Oh, no, that's not Starbucks. <laughs> he moaned in ASL. Oh my god! All right, what's the second story? I don't know if you could top that one, dude. No, there's no going back. There's no going All right, back. so this is short. This is not someone that I was dating, but this is—I know it's your friend Jessica <laughs> that I used to text with and talk on the phone with a lot. We did not date, but Jessica's your face friend is puzzled John. as fuck right now. John, do you know John? Wait, his name's John. Yeah, John, who didn't come to your wedding. <gasps> Whoa. Wow! I didn't even fired. go there. <laughs> Shots fired. I didn't even think of that. Okay, let's do this. Carry on. So, Carry I mean, on. so this is a short story, but I just, just think like it's funny. Just like his short dick, but go on. Whoa, guys! So, there's so many shots being fired right now. I'm uncomfortable. Go. <laughs> So we were like, there was just a point, um, like he had come to some of my plays and we started texting and we would talk on the phone and stuff like that. And, you know, it was like, we never went out on a date or anything, but when we were texting and shit, it definitely was like flirtatious. And so somebody, I don't know if it was you or Briella, but somebody was like, I think he has a boyfriend. So the next time I talked to him and I was like, yo, do you have a boyfriend? And he says, would I be... She says, would I be talking to you like this if I had a boyfriend? Ugh. And I was like, I don't know. That's why I'm asking. And then he just goes, oh, you. So he never answered. <laughs> what? I think he had a boyfriend. So he did? <laughs> How do you know this? We knew this? We confirmed this? I have no memory of anything. No, no. I don't know for sure. But he never answered. And I had heard that he had a boyfriend. He so definitely I did, asked. I think. This is the problem with fuckboys. Yeah. They usually have a, like, you know, happy meal on the side. If you ask a fuckboy a question and their response is, oh, you. Oh, you. Or yeah. you're crazy. <laughs> I know. That's such fuckboy material. Oh, you. Run for the hills. Say, okay. Oh, bye-bye. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Brandon, has there know. been any new loves in your life recently? Just my right hand. Oh. <laughs> Same. <laughs> so now... Wifey for lifey. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I'm so sad and alone. So <laughs> if you know anyone... Oh, my God. Everyone give a fucking virtual hug to Brandon. That was Dude, the saddest thing I've I mean, ever heard. why Come can't on. we use this podcast for, like, a love connection? <gasps> I think we should... Wait. Matchmaker? Done. 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 Next up. Brandon! In it to win it! Let's set people up. Let's okay, put- we're doing a matchmaking episode with you, Brandon, a few we're episodes down, books, and we're going to get you a well, look, Pride is coming up. Gay Pride is oh, coming up. Oh, when is Pride? Perfect. Because I got the perfect dresses June. for my kids. Perfect. Oh, perfect. We'll, do a, uh, we'll do a Gay Pride episode. We'll do it. It's perfect. Oh, my God. Gay Pride. I'm so I'm excited right it. now. And this we're going to find me a boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, we are going to find you a boyfriend. <gasps> Let's play... Um, female. We're going to take This is what we're doing right now. Yeah, yeah. This is what we're going to do. Uh, anybody listening right now, follow Bad Examples podcast. On Instagram. Let's see. Uh, direct message us. Um, if you have somebody for Brandon. A single gay. Uh, yeah. If you, <laughs> not just for Brandon. We'll set Brandon up and then we'll set other gays up. Like but, gay prides. Well, let's. Hold on. Relax. <laughs> I'm, I want to set everybody up right now. Brandon, I want to ever tell us rainbow. your like, type. What is your. What do you look for in he a He told dude? us. Unshaved. Mm, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he My loves type. a little. I, I've been like. It, I don't have. 
a type, oh God, but someone type. who, like, not necessarily physical type, but mm -hmm. mentally, like, they have to have their own thing going on. Mm -hmm. They can't be lazy. They have to be motivated and passionate and just have their own thing going on because I don't need to see them. Okay, who's your celebrity day. crush so we know who to match you with? My celebrity crush? Oh, my God. I want to know who your type is. This yeah, will define too. your type right now. See, Brandon's like, an, and he's an intellectual. So, like, if you're creative because you're and artsy. smart. Because you're yeah. artsy, you don't look at looks. You look at, like, the brain. See, yeah. I'm not artsy. I'm dumb as fuck. So, I look at the arms. Yeah, I like, um, I don't have a, I feel like I have a good answer for this. But I'm so tired. That I, I, like, all that's coming to mind is Andy Cohen. Yes! Oh, that works. Oh that works, Oh, my God. Babe. I love that. That's the best answer I've ever heard. Uh, like he's such a boss, so like, yeah, and I I don't TV get world. jealous of people's success. So, okay. and he would always be more successful than me. So, any success I had, he wouldn't be jealous of because sometimes that Amazing. happens. Amazing. See, so, I love that brain. Brandon, I have one more question. So, like, I know, and I know actually, Andy Cohen's talked about this before. Like, he's a top. So if like, is he? He gives me bottom vibes. No, he's I don't a know. Top. So, like, in the gay community, sometimes, like, I know that if you're like, if you don't match, like, sometimes that's a deal breaker. Yeah, I, I would say that I could learn to match with someone if I liked them. Wow, <laughs> I can't even learn to match. I am for sure <laughs> on top of the bottom. Okay, so you could learn to match. We want someone creative, someone smart, um, someone that understands yeah. your their schedule. Shit together, yeah. Someone who's got like interesting things going on right okay so gay community reach out to us we're setting you yeah. up with gay best friend <laughs> bad example what us. to do what i'd like to do is have at least three different options for brandon to pick and choose from oh and i'm we'll, so excited we'll set about him this. Up, up on a date and we'll have service. them go out and then we'll hear what happened during and we'll we'll do it for i for feel gay like patty month. stanger right now <laughs> Oh my God, Brandon! Thanks so this much. Is so for fucking epic. Calling in and we for love you. Those two stories are I love really you good. So much. You are officially my yes. boy. Change your Instagram right oh, now. No, I fucked do it. Mime. Change it to I fucked a mime. <laughs> Hashtags. <laughs> love you, B. Love you. Bye. Have a good day. Gay best friend. He'll know what to do. Don't forget, guys, new clips air every Thursday. So see you next Thursday. Hosted on dimlywit.com. Even though we are not your best examples, uh, we're the best you've got. So cheers, bitches. Cheers. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for updates. And if you like this clip, share it with a friend.